contract. It's been seven months. We want our contract now. And the inflation must be affecting your members. Do you have a problem with that? Or? Yeah, inflation is affecting everybody in the Bay Area, but more importantly, San Francisco. A lot of our workers here are San Francisco locals, so we want to give them what they're worth, what they deserve. Working in this location is not easy, and 50 cents is not okay. So what's the average wage for the worker here? I think the average wage in this store is 17 to $20 an hour. Um, so definitely not a living wage. Not living wage in San Francisco. <laughs> so it's a matter of survival. For no, yeah. No. Do you have support of your workers here for this action? I believe most of the workers came out. Uh, I think we did a head count of a little over 300 today. We were out yesterday as well. Um, I don't believe many workers crossed the picket line today. So I'm really, really proud of my my peers. And I'm glad to see them out here fighting for what we deserve and what's right. And have they brought in replacement workers? Not that I know of. So how are they selling anything in the store? I believe it's Macy's management that's uh, taken over for the past couple days. And I do know that they lowered their store hours. Um, originally, they were open from 8 to 7 today. And now they're only open from 9 to 6. Uh, yesterday, they also closed early. And they opened later on, too. And, uh, you hope that they go into negotiation with you as a result of your strike. Are you going to go out again if they don't negotiate? Anything's possible. We hope that Macy's comes with a respectable offer next time. Belinda, what's going on is that uh, Macy's uh, wants doesn't wants to give the merchandisers the ability to sell instead of having more salespeople on the floor. I think that's the one of the sticking points. Uh, and also uh, uh, cost of living issues are coming up too. So we'll see what goes, what happens going forward. That's the best I can tell you at this point. Is this your first strike? No. What was the last one like? Uh, the last one was like in the 80s during the um, Reagan administration. And we didn't get everything we wanted. I think the Labor Council went in and settled everything before we uh, left, it, before, we, before we, we ended the strike. So that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Here Macy's workers are on strike and we're saying that we're, that to, during the holiday season with this Christmas season that folks don't have to shop at Macy's. They can support workers and they're just hoping to get a fair contract with some fair wages. What is Macy's offering? Macy's walked out of negotiations at the bargaining committee in New York. Uh, UFC, I'm here with UFCW5. We have a statement online on our website that shows exactly what happened in, in the following and we're just hoping to give workers fair wages, fair contracts. What's your website? UFCW5.org. We returned to, uh, returned to work and negotiations continued, but there was concessions made by the company at that time. So we're hoping uh, the company comes back to the table reasonably and amicably and negotiates a fair deal for these, for these workers. And inflation, what's happening with that? The effect on the, the workers here at Macy's? Well, let me ask you if a 50 cent raise is going to do anything to hedge inflation. It's not going to. Is that all they're offering? 50 cents over a three year period. 50, 50, and 50. What percentage is that? Less, it, it. It's right around, it's less than 2%, 1.5, I believe. But the prices are going up. Absolutely, they are. How, how many workers are affected? We have uh, just about 400 members at this Union Square location. And there was a long strike of the stationary engineers. There was. What happened in that? Uh, information came out today that I believe uh, there's an appeal in the process and I'm fairly certain that they are going to win their dispute with the company and the company owes millions in back pay to those unjustly and unfairly displaced union members. Did they bring in replacement workers? For our strike? They threatened it as a tactic. Uh, they have to give the, the union 24 hours notice. They didn't do it and our strike's over. So it was just another bullying tactic from the company. And what can people do who want to support your strike? Don't shop at Macy's. You can hear the chant in the back. Don't shop at Macy's today until we get back. Once uh, the picket signs go down, shoppers can go inside.